I am Dr. Chandrika Shekhar, working as an obstetrician and gynecologist in Chirag Hospital, Bangalore, JP Nagar, second phase. I also do a visiting consultation at Malti Manipal Hospital, 9th block, Jainagar, Apollo Cradle Hospital, 5th block, Jainagar, and as also Motherhood Hospital, Banshankari, second stage. I would like to demonstrate that on the chart. See, this is the uterus and this is what is called a cervix. Suppose the person is pregnant and when the person is pregnant, we give importance to the measurement of this cervix. All these things, it has become more easy because of the advent of ultrasound scan. When there was no ultrasound, we never used to know. Everything we have to assess by our own clinical acumen and we have to manage. So right now we have scanning. So what happens is, see this is the womb and the baby is inside the womb. And this is the mouth of the uterus. Mouth of the uterus, it will be like a tube and that is called a cervix. So we have asked the question is what is short cervix? See suppose there is a pregnant fetus inside the womb and there is a cervix here and there is some length of this cervix. So the ultrasound person who does the ultrasound, he gives us the measurement of this cervix. Okay. So depending on the measurement of the cervix, the problem of pregnancy is assessed by the obstetrician. Suppose, see this is one tube like this and it will be so long. Suppose the tube is very short, that is dangerous because that implicates that they may go for abortion. What happens is whenever the baby is inside the uterus, when it comes out, how does it come out? This cervix shortens, it becomes short like this and it opens. And that is the way they abort. So when we see this cervix being short in the ultrasound report, so we have to take some care. That is the importance of cervical length. So assessing the cervical length also, there are two methods. One as I told you is through the abdominal scan and another is transvaginal scan. What the doctors have defined is the best part is to take the length of the cervix, we have to do the cervical length with the transvaginal probe. See, we'll put the probe here. So, we'll know the length of the cervix more accurately than abdominal scan. So, there are very expert sonologists who can do um, the same job with transabdominal also, but the preferred would be transvaginal scan. So, when the cervical length is short, we have to take some measure to prevent the abortion. That is the importance of cervical length. So, what can happen when the length is very short and when we see that the baby is in risk, so first we have to assure that whole the baby is fully normal because that has done at the level of third month, completion of third month, we do one scan called as NT scan. So that time we assure that the development of the fetus is good and we have to protect it from getting aborted. So when we know everything is normal, then we try to protect the mother from getting aborted by taking care of this short cervix. That is there are two methods in taking care of this short cervix. That is one school of thought, they go for cervical stitch application means we try to tie a stitch we put a stitch around the entry of the cervix into the uterine cavity that cavity when we tie that stitch it is made tight and it will prevent the abortion there is one more school of thought where we manages this short cervix with medicine methods we did not have these medicines long back but nowadays we have very good medicines through which we can prevent abortion by using the medicines also in that method it uses the medicine method which prevents the more shortening of the cervix and it prevents the uterus from contracting. So that way it prevents abortion. So there are two methods of preventing abortion when we see the cervical length. That is the importance of seeing the cervical length in ultrasound reports.